What's up, YouTube? It's 5.30 in the morning, uh, and I'm off for a little adventure, and I thought I'd take you guys along. Um, I'm headed out to California, uh, San Jose, California today. My friend James, you'll probably recognize this car, uh, the GT350, he decided to buy a GT350R randomly yesterday. So, we worked out a deal on a GT350R, he bought me a plane ticket, we're gonna go drive back together, and it is going to be freaking awesome. Um, he's the owner of the, of the red car here, and that will be going up for sale. It's an amazing car, and he has bought a GT350R. So, pretty exciting. I thought I would try to like capture as much of the experience as I could, and throw it up for you guys. I think it's gonna be pretty epic. We're gonna hit some pretty awesome roads on the way back and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be cruising pretty good. So, yeah. What do you do when your crazy friend buys a car and California asks you to drive it back to them? You do it. So, especially when it's a GT350R and he wants to put a thousand miles on it. So, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Anyways guys, enjoy. We'll see how this video goes. This is the first time I've kind of done more of like a vlog or experience trip video, but I think it'll be fun. Gatos, I think is how you say it, luxury cars. Some beautiful Bentleys. Let's go take a quick look while James gets his paperwork done. We got Bentley, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, Aston Martin, Bugatti. Oh, I could get lost at this place. Beautiful day here in California. So we're here picking up the GT350R. And then we're gonna get on the road. We got a 12 hour drive in that race car. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be hauling some ass. But uh, yeah, fancy pants dealership. Thought I'd hurry and share what they got here. Get this Ford off their lot. Back in. Hey, 
Oh, yeah. So I had the chump start it myself. That's why I didn't answer my phone. That's how it goes. I have my own doorstep. I know how yeah. that goes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. It takes. For understanding, right? Yep. With water. LP 700. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Pretty sweet looking shop. GT350R. Yeah, they're they're cup twos. That's how they are. At least you're not driving back to Utah in the wintertime. That'd be a little scary. That would not be happening. Yeah, those things I've had those on an M3, those same tires, and they're great when you get them warm, but they're not good in rain or they're they're only for really track, honestly. But we'll make them work. It's a pretty car. Just, it's just Ford fit and finish. Okay, so we're going 160 on this, just passing people, like no, smoking the that, smoking uh, the bandit style. We're not leaving that, but I'll be quiet. Dude, yeah, don't. You want me to put the silence down here? Don't ruin my YouTube video, dude. You want me to put this all the way down? Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Well, you mind if, I, if we get a segment? All right, YouTube, what's up? Uh, just got back from San Jose. We've driven for like four or five hours with my buddy James here in his 2017 GT350R. Um, definitely feels a little different uh, than the regular GT. The first part of our drive was kind of just rushing our traffic and boring. So here we are in in uh, beautiful, coming out of beautiful Lake Tahoe. So. I thought I'd do just a quick little, little driving. Maybe we'll get some, uh, some over the, uh, hitting the straightaway here tomorrow morning. 13 hour drive to get back home. Um, I'll do a full review on it uh, back in Utah, but we'll get a couple driving scenes. It is very touchy, very grippy. Definitely a lot more grip than the regular 350R, and it is, yeah, it's definitely different. It's aggressive. <laughs> right now my friend's freaking out. <laughs> uh, but it's awesome. So this had 900 miles on it, and just got broken in, and he let me drive it, and that was his mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we'll check in in the in the morning. But yeah, GT three fifty R is is badass. And at least I get a little bit of fun driving before we're out in the desert, going straight for five hours. So, but maybe a little top speed run. All right, we'll do one pull here. Thanks guys. That fifth gear has pretty good pull, even though when you're low RPMs. You know what I mean? You're at 35 and it's still, you hit it. A little open road. 
road here. started shaking because of the speed. Yeah. So I may have been hauling ass and the front splitter on the GT350R kind of started coming off and we looked at it and it looks like Ford when they ship it they're supposed to put screws in it and uh, they forgot to do that so now we're headed over to uh, Walmart to get some tools to try to fix this thing so we can get back on the road but a little bit of a snag but the GT350R was hauling ass it was freaking awesome man it is dirty I feel bad I need to get this thing washed but anyway it's a little status update on our trip we're in Winnemucca middle of nowhere And we gotta do a little, little road maintenance. All right. All right, what up YouTube? Just woke up this morning. Uh, we got the front splitter fixed. Me and James here last night, uh, just, just barely going over the speed limit. We had a problem with that. <laughs> um, Want to tell- I went on the Autobahn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we want to tell, uh, it was, Alex and Terry. Alex and Terry from Les Schwab for helping us out, thanks. In Winnemucca. In Winnemucca in the middle of nowhere. We're basically in between uh, uh, California, California and uh, Utah. It's a long straight stretch of road with the GT350. She's running good. We got our uh, radar set up and we got waves. I don't know if you guys use waves. And we're just kind of cruising. Uh, super fun trip. Can't wait to get home and do a review on the car, but uh, thought I'd just give you an update on our trip. All right, thanks guys.
Elko. Definitely had a couple of fun runs. This thing's eating, eating gas because I'm hauling ass. But yeah, still rolling. Yeah, we're gonna be the smoke and the bandit. 
right? Besides the exhaust. like a German car I usually have two latches this only has one yeah. two latches would be nice on this car I think it's because of the air a lot of air probably comes back in that front yeah vent. even though it's more of an escape for heat it's still catching so but it doesn't move a lot all right sweet that's a nice pull You can use them. All right, we made it to Wendover in the old GT350R. Man, it's a beautiful color. This this blue is badass, and we are ripping. It's fun. She's dirty. We need a bath. City. Just picked up the car we left at the airport. Uh, it was a, it was an awesome adventure. <laughs> it always is. It always is an adventure when you go do something like that. But tons of fun. Um, really glad that I went. You know, had a had a, had a few little snags, but overall it was just fun. But 36 hours of of I guess we got about 12, 13, 14 hours of driving in the car. Um, Eight nine hundred miles on it. Pretty pretty cool opportunity to take a GT three fifty R on the road and really like get out and drive it. Had some really fun roads through Tahoe and then out through the middle of the desert. We were just freaking hauling ass and it was awesome. Uh, James, my friend, is a freaking cool guy. Really really nice guy. <laughs> um, really fun to go along with his his uh, car buying adventure the guys at uh, Los Gatos luxury cars were really nice did a good job um, and it just it was fun I hope all the footage works out um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it try to get as much as I could you know filming it's always a always a pain in the ass but I think I think you guys hopefully you had fun on this video and We'll see you more in the future. Hopefully you guys like this style of video. Um, yeah, so we get back, get that GT350 cleaned up, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Please like and subscribe. Hello, 
YouTube, this is Brandon Pierce, and I just got back from California in a bitchin' GT350 Mustang R version, and that thing hauls ass. It has track 